Welcome. In front of me, I have the Realme Watch 2 Pro, and today I will go for an unboxing and I guess just a pairing of it and maybe a brief overview. So, uh, without further ado, let's just flip it over. And before I actually go into an unboxing, I will quickly just touch upon the things that are here. So we have a apparently 4.4 centimeter, or more precisely, 1.75 inch display. Uh, we have high precision dual satellite GPS. 14 day battery life, which is actually interesting. Uh, blood oxygenation, heart rate monitor, and so on. 90 sports mode and 100 style uh, weather fa uh, watch faces, which actually, that's actually quite nice. Now, uh, I, I do touch upon maybe this part, uh, the watch faces. Uh, it's nice that they included a bunch of them because it is running their proprietary, proprietary OS. So you're not gonna get access to like the Play Store uh, because it's not running Android. Uh, Wear OS. So anyway, let's just open it up. Now for this, uh, when I'm going to be pairing it, I have some Realme GT right here. So that's probably what I'm going to be pairing it with. So I don't have to download an application. So anyway, let's get it out of here. Uh, now I'll right off the bat mention uh, the packaging here. It's basically almost identical to what the uh, Apple Watch comes uh, package that and that's probably because both both of the companies are basically the same company almost now right off the bat the, uh, the watch feels really light lighter than I expected so let's turn it on if I can there we go so it's turning on right now and let's see what else we get in the box so nothing in here and you see paperwork in here so just leave it here and in here we got the charger so this is only a usb to the well, magnetic charger right here there is no charger included with it um so you will need to already have one for this let's see what we get here so let's set it up english yep that's what i'm gonna stick with and qr code no how do I scan the QR code here? To be completely fair, I have no idea where I have the scanner on Realme phones, so that poses a challenge here. No, that's just an application or photos. You know what, I'm gonna grab my phone for this because at least I actually know where the QR scanner is there. So let me quickly launch my camera. Let's go into here and voila, we have the QR scanner. Oh, it just brings me to a website. That's a little bit disappointing. So let's see what the application is called here. Yes, let's install this and see what we get. Now, I guess while I'm installing this, I'm gonna quickly go over the uh, specifications of this watch, uh, apart from what I already read on the back of the, the back of it. So, the resolution of this display is quickly just go over here. Okay, so the resolution is uh, 320 by 385 pixels. Uh, it's an L IPS LCD display with a peak brightness of uh, 600 nits, so not that high to be honest. And it has a 99.1% screen to body ratio. I would really like to see the entire screen right here, but I'm kind of just locked into the black borders. Can't really see. And it has a IP rating of 68, although I can't really swim with it. It's not really rated for that, so I guess showers are okay, but swimming and like fully submerging the, the watch is not uh, part of it and lastly it has a 390 um, milliamps of battery so again not the biggest battery probably would have suited it better to have a little bit of a bigger one but then again if the watch actually lasts for the 14 days that they're advertising then that probably should be i guess far 
and half of the battery that that is needed uh, so let me quickly search for it watch two no, that's not really what I'm looking for what is this quickly go back to the QR As you can see, I'm kind of guessing what I need to download. I have no actual clue. So, the user experience here isn't necessarily the greatest, at least not for this, for a start. Okay, honestly, I'm not gonna be creating a, a well, account just for this, providing my phone number, uh, that's not happening. So yeah, uh, that's basically the it. I can't really show you really anything. I guess someone else will go over pairing the device. So uh, you can see it there, how it functions, the different like watch faces and just overall uh, user experience of it. Now for the unboxing, I guess there is no uh, overview or look at the device itself apart from well the physical look of it, which uh, to be fair, it does kind of feel uh, cheapish uh, it's fairly light and uh, I'm pretty sure the screen is a little bit less than 90 uh, what is it 99% screen to body ratio uh, because I can already see at an angle you see it there is a bezel right here and all around you can actually see it for a 99% I would expect it to go literally to the every edge possible and it's not doing that so yeah and uh, also that being said, this would conclude the overview of this phone, or oh, not phone, but watch. And if you found it helpful in any way, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.